Hello, welcome to another episode of the How To Series. I'm Fami Iwa Gabriel, Application Engineer for Mantrack Nigeria Limited. Here, I'll be guiding you on how to meet up with the pre-installation, installation and commissioning requirements. Now, most customers believe they have limited or no role to play in the pre-installation phase. In fact, there are three basic requirements I'll be highlighting, which you need to meet before a genset is delivered and installed. Firstly, providing a level ground, not woody or sandy floor that can be washed away during rainy season. This will ensure proper lubrication and proper alignment of components in the engine and also help to reduce echo noise and vibration. Secondly, a well-ventilated generator house because the generator needs air for cooling to avoid overheating and also air for combustion for proper operation of the engine, that is the air flow ratio. Lastly, a generator house free of dust and dirt which could block airflow leading to elevated temperatures in the alternator winding. Now to the installation phase. You must ensure that your cables are neatly laid. and also ensure that your panel is accessible for electrical lookup. Again, you must ensure that your genset is accessible for maintenance by making sure that both doors can be easily opened during maintenance. You must ensure that your genset is well positioned out of walkway, doors and windows. And lastly, ensure that the cables, the load cables and the earth cables are properly terminated on the genset and also on the changeover by ensuring that you follow the color codes so as to avoid reverse phase rotation because this could lead to a critical condition and can be hazardous. Now to the last phase, the commissioning phase. In this phase, you must first ensure that the pre-installation and the installation requirements have been met and the genset is ready to be commissioned. Now you must ensure that all bolts and wiring on the engine are firmly connected and tight. Again, you must ensure that the battery is tightly connected and also you look out for corrosion. Also ensure that your engine oil is properly gauged using the marks on the dipstick. You also look out for your coolant and ensure that it is also properly gauged. And you must also ensure that there is fuel in the base tank by using the fuel gauge if it is full or empty on the fuel gauge. Now, before startup, you must ensure that you prime the genset because it is the first startup. You must ensure that the control panel has been programmed for protection tests. That's the oil and the coolant shutdown. Again, before starting your genset, you must ensure that the breaker is in the off position or the changeover is on the neutral position. I must also look out for the emergency push button if it is engaged. If engaged, you have to reset and also clear your faults. Now, if all these conditions have been met, then your genset is ready for startup so that we can test load and also check all the parameters on the module. Now, we have to ensure that the line to neutral is on 230 and the line to line voltage is on 400. You also check your frequency, 50 hertz, and your speed, 1,500 RPM. If all these conditions have been met, you ensure that your breaker is returned to the off position so as to take the load away from the genset before the genset is shut down, meaning you are taking load out before startup and you are also taking load out before shutdown of your genset. These pre installation, installation, and commissioning requirements are for the proper operation and also the longevity of the engine. For more information, you can visit our website www.mantracknigeria.com. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mantra Group. Thank you.